Hello, my name is Bernetta and I'm a second year business student at RSM. Today I'm taking you with me because I heard something about a new master. This master is called Medical Business and Innovation and it sounds really interesting. So today I'm going to find out what this master is about and also what the requirements are. I'm going to talk to Pierre Birgel and I'm also going to speak to a student who is currently following the master Management of Innovation. Of course, this is not the same master, but the master that I'm going to investigate today is kind of a sister of this master. It is about Management of Innovation, but rather focused on the medical world, if I can say so. If you're interested in this master, then keep on watching. So I'm here with Birgul. Can you tell me a little bit about who you are and what you do here uh, for the master? Sure, my name is Birgul Arslan. I am the co-academic coordinator of the minor program, actually. And this year we are starting the minor program. I see. So it's a minor program students must follow before they enter the master program, right? Exactly, because our master program is specifically designed for students who don't have a bachelor in management or uh, in a related field like business. Uh, they need to have 15 credits to be able to enroll to the master uh, program, the new master program in medical business and innovation. And the, the registration starts in October 2021. So until then, uh, students have a uh, short time left in order to get those 15 credits in management related courses. So that's why we have created the new minor program, which is called business management. Mm -hmm. And it will, t it will start this September uh, 2021. And when does their registration start for the minor? It's very soon, actually. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that anyone who's interested uh, follows the announcements on, uh, on the university website. Um, it's between uh, 3rd of May and 31st of May. So during May, all the applications must be made for the minor program. That is quite soon, that yeah. That is very soon, yes. And what kind of courses can students expect in the minor? Um, that's a great question. So um, basically the students uh, that we are targeting are from life sciences, so medicine, uh, nanotechnology, uh, all related um, life sciences, also engineering or anything that, that is not management based mm -hmm. and they will need a background in management. So what does this background entail? Basically there are five main functions in management. When we talk about management, the five main functions are organizational behavior, strategy, um, finance, marketing and operations management. So this minor program, which is titled Minor in Business Management, will entail five short courses that will deliver the fundamentals in these aspects, in these uh, major functions of management. And given the whole COVID situation, will the minor be online as well? Yes, so we have created the minor um, as an online program in the first place, and not because of COVID, actually also because we are expecting students from uh, other universities, for mm -hmm. instance, TU Delft or Leiden, students from Erasmus and Sein will join. So that's why we thought it's the best if we create this program, uh, this minor program, as an online program for forever. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be online and it's going to be also in English. It's going to be in English because um, medical sciences, life sciences uh, are now basically global industries mm -hmm. and it's such a global industry that the main communication medium is always English, the, the science output is in English, even the management output is in English, so that's why it's going to be English, and it's open also to international students as well, so it has that uh, advantage too. Thanks, I think that really makes it clear. Yes, the one last thing, everyone who is interested really needs to um, register during the May. Yeah, don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Virgo. Thank you very much. I'm here with Magnus, and you are a Management of Innovation student, right? That is correct. And why did you choose Management of Innovation? Um, so at the beginning of the year, I realized that it might not take a world crisis like COVID-19 to realize that the status quo is not sufficient. Mm -hmm. So multinationals, uh, the local shop, the local charity, and even government institutions need to create novel and useful ideas. And so the question is not whether we should innovate, but really how we should innovate. 
and that is why I wanted to learn about management of innovation. That's so interesting. And what do you learn about in the Management of Innovation Master? So I think there are four key takeaways. Um, so first we started learning about the strategy of innovation. So here we really emphasize on how to create, capture and deliver value for organizations. Then uh, organization for innovation. Here the emphasis is really on how to create the right structure, the right culture and the right relational processes to breed innovation. Third is idea management. So here we started emphasizing on how to create uh, novel ideas, but also how to select them and how to communicate them. And the emphasis was really on breakthrough ideas. And fourth, uh, implementing innovations. So here, the speciality, let's say, was um, how to create a project uh, in the right way, how to um, manage st stakeholders involved in a project, and how to account for success or failure uh, at the end of, let's say, the innovation um, goal you set out for. Interesting. Can I see it as like a roadmap to innovation or? That is correct. So it's a journey uh, across multiple accomplishments that you need to succeed for. And this whole holistic picture gives you a nice overview of, of the master program. And in your opinion, what was the most interesting you have learned uh, during your master so far? So the most striking aspect for me actually was kind of this funnel-like integration between two courses. Um, so first we learned about how to create creative ideas, but also implement them in innovation teams. Uh, so we acquired, for instance, systematic inventive thinking skills. And then we were able to create a minimal viable product uh, using low development code. And how do you think that this master is preparing you for your future career? So from multinationals to startups, I think this master program is really a launch pad to create a successful career. Um, so not only does it create vital innovation competencies, um, but it really accelerates us into a career in the likes of consulting, uh, product or project management, and even business development. Well, thank you for answering my questions I have for you. Do you have anything else you want to uh, say about the master? Right, so I would say that if you're kind of uncertain and don't know what master program to follow, mm -hmm. I would say follow your intuition. If it is to create a positive change, if it is to create new ideas, and if it, it is to create a positive societal impact, and I think this master program could be the perfect fit for you. Thank you so much. I'm here with Pierre. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. So hello, I'm Pierre Master Bellardino. I am a principal investigator at the Erasmus Medical Center and at the IFOM in Milan. And my work, my real job is to investigate diseases of the brain. Can you tell me a bit more about the master program? So yes, the, the new master in medical business innovation is a program conceived for people who have a background in uh, biomedical disciplines, in uh, biotechnology, biology, medicine, nanobiology, who have an interest also for uh, uh, managerial uh, aspects, so have an interest for the private sector, have an interest for entrepreneurship and so on. And how do students get into the program? Well, as I explained, this is a program that combines uh, biomedical aspects and management. So in order to understand how well, the program itself, you need to have a little bit of uh, uh, information in management. So unless you have this bit of information in management, you will have to attend uh, another program we made uh, uh, specifically for this use, which is the minor, and you heard about it. So you can quantify these uh, minimal requirements, which is about 15 EC, 15 credits. So if you have these 15 credits, you can skip the minor. Otherwise, the minor will give you the information to access the master. If you are part of the HBO system, then what you will have to do, you will have to do a pre-master, and then you will have to do the minor itself to get uh, elements in management. Okay, yeah, that's very clear. So I understand that this master is a collaboration between two schools. What is the added value of that? Well, the added value is that the Erasmus Medical Center and the Rotterdam School of Management are two top institutions in their respective fields. So they are global leaders, they are national leaders, they are European leaders. So basically you will be engaged and exposed to the environment of two 
very well established institutions. And so this will create new synergies, this will create new energies, you will learn more. But more than that, you will receive a ban, because basically in your CV, it will be clear that you have been trained by two top-notch schools on a global level. And this will make a difference with employer. And do you have anything else to add? No, except it is going to be a fantastic program. Okay, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. I'm now going to make a Zoom call with Joanna and she is an RSM alumnus. Hi Joanna, can you tell me a bit about the master you did here in Rotterdam? Hey, I'm uh, Johanna. I completed the Management of Innovation Master at RSM and finished in 2014. Um, I had a great time doing my master's. I thought it was a perfect program um, for me. There aren't very many innovation masters in Europe. Um, I looked in a lot of different places and universities and the program at RSM really caught my attention because it focused specifically on kind of innovation in larger corporations. There's a lot of entrepreneurship masters around, um, but I didn't want to go into that sort of startup world. I was more interested in working for a larger company. RSM was kind of the only program that I found that really focused on learning how to um, be innovative in a big corporation, what kind of framework you need, what kind of teams you need, what leadership styles, how you can foster and encourage creativity and innovation in bigger corporations. And that's what really caught my eye when um, kind of looking for my master program. And I think after attending and completing the master, it really delivered what, what it promised. And we learned a lot and did a lot of different sort of case studies with companies. And how did this master help you developing your career? After my program, I um, applied for different oh. traineeships and got hired into um, Siemens Healthcare. And I'm now working as a product manager in the healthcare, so the medical device um, industry. Mm -hmm. And while the master wasn't specifically geared towards that, which this new one will be, um, I think especially something like a product manager role where you take sort of the needs from the customer, what can we improve on our products and then work together with engineering on, and the R&D department to improve on the products. And that's exactly the type of innovation that we were learning about in our masters that I can now apply um, in my job. So I think it prepared me really well for a career in the area and a company where innovation happens, which is, for example, product development. Okay, thank you very much. I think I covered all the questions I had for you. Do you have anything you want to add or tell me about the master that you haven't already? Well, I think the, the program at RZM is a great program and I'm very excited to hear that they're going to have a innovation master specifically for the healthcare industry. I think there's a lot of innovation going on there. And I think focusing on that and having case studies and companies specifically in that field will really help students um, leverage that in their career and an application process later. So best of luck. And I, I wish it was there when I um, was at RSM so that I could have done that program. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Now Stefano Tassali, the director of the master, will end the video with some last information about the master. I'm Stefano Tasselli, I'm the academic director of the Master of Science in the Management of Innovation at the Rotterdam School of Management. Our program is academically outstanding, is innovation focused, is socially business relevant, and is very diverse and inclusive. For these reasons, it has been ranked as number first in the world by the prominent online platform innovationmanagement.se. Through this master, through this program, you'll be able to think strategically about organization, to overcome resistance for what concerns new ideas, and to implement innovation in business and in society. Through this program, we want you to become the innovation leaders of tomorrow. And by innovation leaders, we don't mean simply innovate in organizations, in business and in society, but first and above all, to innovate yourself.